thing. This is not the old school CPA. No, no, I haven't carried a pocket protector since I was 12. The green eye shade, the armband. When people learn that I'm a CPA, they usually ask me a tax question. People regard the CPA as, as a thing sometimes. You become marital property, you pass between husband and wife. You have to have a great mattress and a great job because two thirds of your life is spent doing those things. And once I start working, I realize this is just a, a great profession. I'm Greg Collins, and I'm a CPA, Certified Public Accountant. What I do is get involved with clients, especially entertainers and athletes. I'm a forensic accountant. What I do is work in the area of litigation. Forensic accounting is used in fraud investigations. The FBI uses accountants to do forensic work in white collar crime. Quite a bit of money passes through the NBA. One of my responsibilities, one, is to make sure it's secure. Two is to make sure that it's earning some reasonable return and is protected. My personal life and my business life have somewhat merged together now that I'm at, at the NBA because I'm a fan. My name is Jennifer Allero and I'm a CPA. As the assistant controller for WCBS Channel 2, I work in television news. I work with people who directly affect the public and the greater good. You can take your CPA into public accounting where I am today, which I love at Ernst & Young. You can take that to become a CFO, a CEO. I'm Mike Minarczyk, and I'm a CPA for the New York Jets. The most fun thing about being the controller for the New York Jets is actually a dream come true for this kid. I'm in charge of the budget and the forecast for the station. I love coming to work. It's definitely a challenge and it's fun and usually I'm up and turning on the news saying, what's going on today? Every job I do, every case I take on, I prepare as if I'm going to be an expert witness in a courtroom. Every single job runs into a courtroom or, or some type of settlement. I find as the world of the CPA is going, the profession is going, more and more people niche in different areas. I work with, uh, with entertainers, musicians, hip hop artists, actors, singers, and I work with athletes also. My day typically involves interacting with all of the departments and helping them set their goals. I'm intimately involved in virtually every, every decision that gets made from a business standpoint. I always dreamed of making it uh, down to the playing field at some professional level. But unfortunately, my God-given athletic ability prevented me from doing that. Here I am sitting at the crossroads of the world, Times Square. Nothing but excitement around us. The opportunities as I leave the office every day uh, are fantastic by working in the city. If you understand accounting, you understand the language of business, and you can really take that anywhere. It puts you right in the midst of the business world, and I thought, well, that's a place I want to be. There's a, a certain level of expectation that comes along when CPA is attached to the end of your name, and that's something that's very appealing to me. It makes you different. It distinguishes you when you walk through the door. When I've introduced myself as a CPA, people in the industry know immediately what that means, and that carries value, and it carries a significant premium than just being a straight-up accountant. Usually if there's a major show in the area, I can go to the concert, either have a client performing or someone I've done business with or somebody I know. I can either get into the concert and even, you know, be backstage and maybe hang out with the artists and whatnot after the show. There are indeed perks working for the NBA. The number one perk for me are tickets. And I can't tell you how many new friends I have since I've been with the NBA. Actually, one of my favorite things is every year the CBS network announces their fall schedule. And so one of our perks is we get to go and meet the celebrities that are going to be on new television shows in the fall. For the NBA All-Star Weekend Slam Dunk Contest, I'm the man who tabulates the judges' scores. Most exciting time in my stay at the NBA. The perks of uh, working for a professional sports organization is that you get to go right down to the playing field. 
I have a front row ticket to, to every home game. It allows me to uh, see the team from a different perspective. I wanted to travel around and see the world and see some of the country. I've been to Germany, I've been to Great Britain, and I've been to France. Writing and verbally speaking and communicating, two very critical elements of your, of your skill set. A CPA has skills and ability to analyze numbers in, in any situation. You have to be inquisitive. I think that's probably the thing that I didn't realize I would need, is I ask the question why all the time, all the time. And then once you know, you can apply it to the numbers. You don't have to be good at math to be a CPA. Mathematics, you need to be a math. If you're good at mathematics, you should be a mathematician. One of the most important skills I find are interpersonal skills, having the ability to communicate with people on all levels. People getting out of college now, or even thinking of going into the world of accounting, have to know this is such a great area. I don't do any regular accounting, and I have a great time every day. Every job is different, every business is different. I'd say the most important thing is to get good experience. Don't be so anxious to jump from job to job because you see that you can make more money and, and there's a, a need for accountants out here. I would tell young people that the greatest place to start for a career in accounting is public accounting. An accounting degree will, will provide you with that solid foundation. In fact, there was a recent study done that says one of the most trusted college graduates, or the most trusted graduate, college graduate, was an accounting major. I have a lot of flexibility by being a CPA that wor lives in one state and works in another. I mean, Manhattan is the center of the universe to some people, and I would agree with that. But right across the border, we have this fantastic state that has lots of opportunities. One of the things that was very beneficial to me coming through college was having the ability to work at companies before I was out full time. So one of the things that I've tried to do at the MBA is create those opportunities for college students. Well, I enjoy helping people, and I know that seems like a strange thing because I'm not a doctor or anything like that, so I'm not putting them back together physically, but financially sometimes, and in their business, you are putting them back together. If you're entering the profession, be inquisitive, be ready to learn a lot, be ready to travel, because it's a fun thing. Every kid can do anything. Uh, it's just a matter of having some focus and having some direction and just being convinced that certainly if you've seen someone else do it, there's no doubt that you can do it. And I've always believed that. I don't know if I can slam dunk a basketball, but maybe I can. I'm willing to give it a try.